Um, communicators are crucial for recruiting. This is something that's often overlooked. I preach this message all the time. I've preached it in my previous institutions. I preach it now. Uh, I think it, it comes with mixed results from both administrators and coaches. But recruiting is going to be under a microscope, right? Even more so than ever. A lot of us are uh, driven on enrollment. Um, some of us have been in tough spots because the market is, is tough and it's hard. And athletics is often looked to as a vehicle for driving that enrollment. And if we don't have sports, well, what does that look like? Well, if we don't have sports, it doesn't mean we stop recruiting. Because if we stop recruiting, I was telling this to John last week, is you stopping your recruiting, you stopping your communication surrounding recruiting and having your brand consistently out there doesn't just have an adverse effect for this year or next year. We're talking about an entire cycle of recruiting, four years if not longer. And what does your institution look like in four years if your recruiting takes a hit? And so when we're talking about, and I know the F word, not that F word, but furlough is something that a lot of us are scared about and worrying about and thinking about. Um, this above anything else, everything else is just kind of getting to this, is a reason why we need athletic communicators in this time. If your athletic communicator or SID is not involved in your recruiting process, why? And some of you might be like, well, my coach has been here for 35 years and they have their thing, like their whole spiel and they're successful and that's great. And, but you need to, you or, or your coaches need to include what your communications person is putting out on a regular basis or any special content that they're doing specifically for that program that needs to keep happening. Going radio silent as I'm not trying to judge here as some institutions have chosen to do over the last couple months has, is going to have really adverse effects. And I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't think any of us really do, but cutting your communication staff or having them be kind of the first, like, uh, is a really short-sighted move, both institutionally and within athletics. Why is that? Well, they're the ones, frankly, that are putting your name out there. Uh, I think person-to-person -person interactions are great. That's what a lot of administrators as well as presidents are doing. Um, it's necessary, you're, you're meeting constituents, you're meeting community leaders, all important stuff. But if your messaging, both internally and externally, isn't happening, the product you're selling isn't really a product. It's just something that people might want to do. When I say free support, um, I was telling my ED this morning, um, Free support within recruiting doesn't necessarily mean more work. It just means you're giving your communicator the right work. So for some institutions, that might be a graphic with each commitment that's coming in. For others, that might be uh, a simple story that highlights the recruits. For others, it might just be building the entire infrastructure that coaches are using to recruit in general. Whatever it looks like for you, it doesn't matter, but you're not having to pay someone else when you already have someone doing the work that coaches can use to highlight the experience of their student athletes. It doesn't cost you anything. Else. So use them. And that's and pri prioritizing is the work that you're giving your SIDs and also for the SIDs, prioritize, prioritizing your task list is super important in helping and aiding your coaches in recruiting always, but especially now, should be at the top of that priority list. Which goes to the last point, strategy and messaging is as important as the sell. A lot of coaches think that they can do it themselves. And some of them, they can because of the situation that they're in. But there needs to be a concise message. This is something I tell my coaches all the time. There needs to be an overall department message that you are kind of tailoring to yourself, your personality, and your program, but at 
all of that still has to tie back into what we are doing institutionally. The cell is great. The cell is what gets the students here in theory, but it's the strategy and the messaging before you even make that pitch that is really important and it's going to be really important as we move forward in this pandemic. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more great sports branding videos from Hartwell Studio Works, hit the subscribe button on the right of your screen. I'll look forward to seeing you next time.